Today we're going to be looking at directions in the color plum. So first thing you may notice is that my swatches are labeled 1 through 12. I just want to say that is not synonymous with hair levels. I do different video clips and pictures and such near the end of the video, so the numbers just help us keep track of each swatch. These are human hair swatches, but the only swatch that is virgin hair is going to be the number 4 black swatch. The rest have been chemically colored or bleached or treated in their existences. So what I like to do is I will start out by taking the color directly out of the container and I will apply it at the top of each swatch. Then some people do like to dilute their dyes, so I will do a diluted version at the bottom of each swatch. Please keep in mind everyone's hair is different, which means everyone's hair will take color differently, plus different screens and monitors can make colors look different, so please just use my video as a reference for how this could possibly turn out for you. For the diluted section, we're going to do a 4 to 1 ratio, so that will be one part of the plum to four parts diluter. If you're unsure what diluter is, because I do get a lot of questions about that, my quick simple answer is that it basically lightens the color of a semi-permanent dye. Usually each brand will sell their own version of a diluter that you can use, it'll have the same consistency as your dye. But to keep things fair between each video and each color I do, I always just use a plain white conditioner as my diluter. All right, I'm gonna let these sit for about three hours just so the hair has enough time to fully absorb the color. I will then rinse it out, and when it's dry, I'll meet you back here and we can do some comparisons. This color is so beautiful. I was holding it, and the diluted section, I noticed it almost has like a duochrome kind of vibe. Obviously, it's not actually duochrome, but in some lights, the diluted section looked quite warm in undertone, and in other lights, it looked a lot more cool toned. So when I'd move it around, it almost looked like it was shifting colors. I'm sure that is some kind of optical illusion, but very beautiful. So this color is quite pigmented and took on a majority of the swatches. The only ones I would say I don't really see a difference on are four and five, which are our darkest swatches. And because it's so pigmented, the color on the direct dye portion looks very similar on a lot of swatches as well. So one originally was green. I think the top half looks a little bit more warm in comparison to maybe like the blonder swatches. And then the bottom half is interesting because on the top half where it was probably a little less porous, it looks more warm in undertone versus the bottom half that was more porous has a lot more of like a bluish cool tone look. Number two is usually the most cool tone swatch. And I would say that holds true, but it's not dramatically different. Um, and like I was saying, it's a lot easier to tell on the bottom, but I think both the top and the bottom just lean slightly more towards blue. Three always ends up kind of similar to like six or seven. This time I think it's a little closer to seven. The direct eye portions look quite similar, and even the diluted sections, I was almost wondering if the warmth in the number three would have an effect, but this time around I don't think there's a major difference. They just kind of look like a warmer purple. Um, I do want to say if you have virgin hair, especially if it's darker, this may work for you because it is so pigmented, but um, even if it does work for you, there is a chance that it could wash out quickly because virgin hair has a harder time taking and holding on to semi-permanent color. 
So regardless of what your hair looks like, I would recommend a strand test whenever possible. I don't know if it's just me, but the 9, 10, and 11 all look pretty similar on the top half, but 7 and 8 don't look that much different either. Again, I think it's mostly the diluted section, so the darker swatches have a slightly more warm look, and then as they get lighter, they get a little bit more cool tone and undertone. Overall, I would say this is a cool toned purple leaning a little bit more warm than some cool tone purples might be. So as for comparisons, first I wanted to look at Arctic Fox in the color Purple AF. This is comparable to number 12, 11, 10, and this is comparable to number 9. So my Arctic Fox watch, it's a little bit older, not super old. But I used to do two separate diluted sections, so that is why the swatch looks like that. The top is still going to be the direct dye portion. You can see that the Arctic Fox does lean slightly more warm and a little bit lighter. I think the number 11 swatch, they don't look too far off from each other, but as the swatches get darker, you can see a little bit more of a difference. I feel like you can see more of the warmth from the Arctic Fox coming through than maybe I do on the blonde swatch. I don't remember how much I diluted the Arctic Fox, but it does kind of seem like comparing the diluted sections that the Directions Plum might be a little bit more pigmented as well. But once again, I always recommend a strand test. <laughs> the other comparison I wanted to look at today is actually another Directions color, and that is in the color Violet. So this is comparable to number 12, 11, 10, and number 9. So I would say Violet is technically a little bit more cool toned than the Plum, but I do feel like it gets a little bit harder to tell the undertone differences on the darker swatches just because the Violet is actually lighter than the Plum. The Plum is definitely a more pigmented color and darker. Um, so overall, the Violet is a little bit lighter and a touch more cool toned. Plum is obviously darker, a touch more warm toned, but it's honestly... These are quite similar compared to all the colors I have in my collection. The two comparisons I showed today are the most similar, so that means the violet is one of my closest colors to the plum. And I would say comparing the two, if you have slightly darker hair, the plum would probably get you a better result versus the violet. But if you have very light hair, you have options. All right, so now I would like to get into the before and after clips. Those, as well as anything you see past this point in the video, will all be done in natural lighting.
I hope this video helps. If you have a request, I do have a link below to a Google form you can fill out. Just remember, I only do brands that do not test on animals. Thank you so very, very much to my patrons, and thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you in my next video.